you learn about inflation too, which is um, very apropos for the times we live in. If you're curious, please look up hollow inflation. <laughs> <laughs> no, do not that do that. I've segue. seen that recently. I, love and I didn't it. like I, it at all. That setup was perfect, Chidota. Holy crap, man. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to Anime Club After Dark, the podcast that delves into all things anime, manga, and otaku culture related. I'm your host, Alex, but you can call me Senpai, and joining me tonight, we have our czar of source material, John. Can I just say that, Chinoda, when you said you would just have a new title name every single episode, Hmm. right? I was like, there's no way. And it only took like two or three weeks for you to do one, like we said. (laughs) <laughs> However, this title name is so freaking... What is this? Finally has a break from so much anime? That's not a title name, bro. I don't under... That is a John, statement. John, if you if you realized I stopped doing title names and switched to, like, statements a while ago because it's so much better. Okay. Listen, I, I don't... And Alex has been working with it. He better, didn't say anything. Better, I, I do my best, but better is a stretch. <laughs> You didn't say anything, bro. So I just went with it. <laughs> I just, I, I do, I do the best I can with the material I'm given. Uh, sadly, it's not great material, so I have to elevate it myself. <laughs> um, but yeah, to notice here too, I'm not saying it because John already said it. I'm sorry. I, I just had to check because I'm like, okay, is is it an actual like name this time, or is it still just a phrase, a statement? <laughs> I like how the little headline he has down there implies that Natai has died. <laughs> F in chat for Natai. No, by the way, F is just to technically pay your respects. Mm. Like it doesn't uh, mean they're dead. We're just paying our respects. Yeah, Natai yeah. was supposed to be here tonight, but uh, he couldn't make it. So we'll be talking about some of the stuff he listed um, later on. Uh, but it is that time of the year again. It's time to do our uh, quarterly season preview. The uh, spring anime season is rapidly approaching. Um And we are going to do our best to encapsulate some of the things we may or may not be watching. Uh, Some of the stuff you see us talk about, we're probably just going to shit on because it's so ridiculous. Um, But I also do want to say before we do get started um, and jump right into it, uh, if you do like what you see here tonight, be sure to like down below. Subscribe if you want to see more. Um, John will make fun of me for only now realizing that the subscribe button glows when you say that. (laughs) Yes, <laughs> I did not realize that until like two weeks ago when I saw it happen. And it was like, what the hell? Well, because I normally full screen a video when I'm watching it. So, so do I, I. I. Yeah, most people do. So, I, you know, you can be forgiven for not noticing something well, that no like one when really I watch, notices. When I watch on my phone, right, I'm usually just, you know, like this. I'm watching it like this. Or if I'm watching a YouTube video on my uh, desktop, I'll have it on one of my screens and just full screen it. Or I never I'll, see those. I'll have button. a YouTube yeah, video same. playing while I'm doing something else. I'm not yes. looking at the screen, right? Not like, directly love, looking at the screen. Yeah, I, like you know, like the podcast or video essays. I'll have something up mm-hmm. in a different tab, and I'll be doing something else. So yeah. again, you'd be forgiven for not noticing. And a lot, I don't think a lot of people would notice. But Some I only knew because um, I watched a. I, I'm pretty sure it was an Asmund Gold video. It was some some youtuber video where they were talking about that uh glowing subscribe thing they're mm-hmm. like yeah it's not even centered and i was like what it's like it yeah, is when nat- you say yeah they finally centered it okay yeah. yeah they were talking about like yeah when you say subscribe the little subscribe button glows and they're like dude it's not even centered like they haven't fixed that in like a couple months since it launched and i was like what <laughs> it glows and they didn't even have it centered like because i'm like well no one cares no one looks yeah um i i guess apparently the I've heard that they're working on doing the same thing for the like button when you say give a like. I I mean, sure, I guess. I don't know. I I guess. But if you do like it, and and what you let me try that whole sentence again. If you like what you see here and want to see more, do give us a like and subscribe below. But let's get into it. Let's talk about what's actually coming out uh, this season. And and for that, I have, as usual, for our season previews, boom, I have Annie Chart ready to go. And I've realized I have not launched this in full screen. There we go. All right. So the first thing I want to talk about it is should be no surprise to anyone um, at, at all. Um, it's the new Spice and Wolf. <laughs> a full. Ooh, Are you okay? 
Did well, you get enough sleep last night, Shinoda? I did. He's I got sleepy. plenty of sleep. I don't know why I happened to yawn at that moment. No, it, this boy. one's a full adaptation, right? Is what they announced? Yes. Wait, um. So is it going to be like 48 episodes or something? I, I don't know how like long this season is. I don't know if they've announced an episode count yet. I do not believe they have. The This adaptation allegedly is going to be a complete adaptation of the... Um, the lovely, lovely light novels, which uh, you should definitely pick up. I'm just hint, hint. <laughs> um, so I, I'm assuming they're probably not going to do all of it in one go. It's probably going to be spread across multiple seasons over like two or three years, more or less. Um, um, I'd be perfectly fine I with don't... that so long as the quality stays uh, high. I don't remember if the original was 24 episodes for two seasons or not. It was two seasons of 12 episodes. Two seasons so it was 24 12? total episodes. Oh, I think okay. one of them was 13. I think the second season was 13. But it was like single season seasons, if that makes okay. sense. I mean... S single core seasons. Yeah, I'd love to see a full adaptation. I want to see what happens after. Yeah. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not that invested as well, because... Uh, let me tell you about that horrendous CGI. <laughs> okay, okay, listen here, listen here. John's gonna sit here and bitch about the CGI, knowing full well the CGI and the action is not the least bit what this story is about. No, but it's kind of jarring when it's like all the cutaways are just like looking like robotic people, CGI people walking. I'm like, come on, bro. Like, doesn't just look why, great. Why, why pad it with the crap that doesn't matter? Just don't show it to me at all. Just. Do something else, man. I don't know. Maybe maybe a lot of the, the show will be just talking and that's all you gotta see. I mean, I mean that's most a of lot the of the show, show anyways. Just talking. Yeah, a, lot <laughs> of the show, a lot of the story of Spice and Wolf is just talking. One thing I'm very, very happy with is that unlike the original anime adaptation from the late 2000s, um, this anime adaptation is going more for the light novel character designs as opposed to like the original anime character designs. I like the light novel designs a lot. Um, so I'm very happy that they went with that. Um, yeah, I like that uh, Lawrence is like such a himbo, a himbo now. <laughs> <laughs> Was he a himbo in the light novels as well? Uh, I will show you. Give me a second. Oh, okay. Live uh, representation. Here well, we go. You can this see is... the uh, little character profile, but yeah, he's oh. more of a himbo in the light novel illustration. Yeah, that's, that's Holo Versus, and Lawrence like, the, from um, the light novel. The first yeah, anime, works. it was like they just made him more like mature looking and stuff. Yeah, I guess I should make this just there we go. So people at home can see. Yeah, this is the their appearance in the uh, in the actual light novel. Yeah, I can yeah, he look a lot that. younger. <laughs> yeah, um, he's the crazy thing is he's got a head full of gray hair and he's only supposed to be 27 years old. <laughs> oh, merchants a hard life, I guess. I mean, yeah. <laughs> um. The studio that's doing this is um, Passion. Uh, so this is some of the other stuff that they've worked on uh, recently that you can see. Um, it, it, oh, they're, it, they're the ones doing Ishida. Yeah. Yes. Um, oh, man. I don't, I mean, I, I'm good. There's going to be a lot of copium that you're going to hear spewed for me if this is that being shit. So just be prepared for that. <laughs> Bro, buddy, we welcome already to the from club, you. buddy. <laughs> welcome to the club of terrible anime adaptations of your favorite light novels. Uh, all I want is like a full adaptation. Doesn't have to be a one to one adaptation. It just has to be a full adaptation that the story stays relatively the same. That's all I want. That's all so, I want. Alex, for the relatively younger people who might have no idea hmm. what Spice and Wolf is, do you want to give a brief TLDR? Uh, brief TLDR is you got this character uh, named Holo, who's uh, a demigoddess, who uh, one day appears in the wagon of a traveling merchant named uh, Lawrence, and they have adventures together. That's pretty much it. Yeah, and no, it's, sounds cute. It's a constant. It's a constant struggle for Lawrence as a merchant. <clears throat> as a merchant in this world, uh, he's trying to stave off bankruptcy. There's a lot now, of economics in the in the light novel. I was actually just about to ask that. Like, do you still get a full on economics lesson? Yes, <laughs> you one hundred percent do. Um, and if you ever go and read the light novels, there's a lot of economic theory in the light novels. Let's learn about capitalism. <laughs> no, really, that's the anime. It's yeah, pretty much. 
capitalism, mercantilism, all kinds of different economic systems. Um, you learn about inflation too, which is um, very apropos for the times we live in. If you're curious, please look up hollow inflation. <laughs> <laughs> no, do not that do that. I've segue. seen that recently I love and I didn't it. like I, it at all. That setup was perfect, Chidota. Holy crap, man. <laughs> So you remember how you said before we started that he's never made you laugh? That you got to give him that one. No, I said you've never made me laugh. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I made John laugh plenty. Okay. okay. Anyways, anyway, John. <laughs> anyway, John, do you have anything to say before we move on? Because I'm. This is probably the thing I'm looking forward to the most next season. No, I mean I like Spice and Wolf. Um, I wonder if they're gonna get that lady who was on Ecstasy who wrote that song to be on. Oh <laughs> wait, what? Um, Hold on, yeah. what? So in the it's a it's a funny story in the for the original anime adaptation there the ED song um I forget the name of it uh I don't know I, I can't remember the name of it on top of my head around the world Whist yes um <laughs> the the woman who wrote it is the lead singer from a Japanese band called uh, Rocky Jack and she admitted in a radio interview that she was high off her ass on ecstasy when she wrote the song amazing <laughs> if you couldn't tell like. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I believe that. And if you listen to the lyrics of the song, it's like this definitely comes off as now like someone who's high. Sugar stars, I'll put them in, in a jar, jar. and oh, we'll whistle whistling around, around the, world. the world. Yeah, I'm whistling <laughs> around the world. I'm a little well, I'm a, wolf I'm inside a, wolf a girl. girl. <laughs> yeah, and they say I'm off from June to May. Oh, whistle around the world. But like, speaking what? of music, uh, Kevin Pinkin is doing the uh, uh, scoring for this adaptation, which I'm hella excited. I about. hope Kevin takes inspiration from the original ED artist and just <laughs> do a line and <laughs> write whatever. Because of all the drugs to make the soundtrack, bro. And it's the only way to, to stay true. I do I do hope that he does take some cues from the original score, though. Like The original score for Spice and Wolf was pretty damn good. While it was pretty damn good from what I remember, I don't care, man. Let Kevin do his work. Oh, let he Kevin can do cook. whatever he wants. I'll Dude, listen to it. Let Kevin cook, because whatever he comes up with is probably going to be freaking amazing. Um, also, they have, on at least the Japanese side for the Japanese dub, all of the original voice actors are coming back to reprise their roles. I hope when they do an English dub of this, the same is done for the English dub voice actors, because the English dub of the original Spice and Wolf anime is pretty good. Yep. Now, I remember that's how <laughs> I, I first watched it. <laughs> I don't remember watching it ever in English, so I don't know who is in the dub, but I am a little curious as to why they're doing this because, you know, most, even though it, um, anime isn't made just to sell the source material anymore like it used to be, mm -hmm. it's still kind of interesting that for a novelized series that finished a number of years ago to get a full adaptation, it's like, that's kind of weird, you know? There's no additional income that this would bring in for the novels um, because it's not, like, popular anymore. Ah, uh, but you, just, you like... forget, there is a sequel light novel series going on right now. Oh! oh. Wolf and Parchment. I, you know what? I completely forgot about that. Yeah. And I think that's probably a... If this is successful, I have a feeling that's probably going to get an anime adaptation, too. Yeah, this is all the cool. prequel. This is just a setup to sell a Wolf and Parchment. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty smart. I, I, you know, I did forget about that. Yeah. So maybe this is a preemptive thing to sell that getting an anime. Maybe. But anyway, uh, moving on to uh, next thing on our list, which is uh, John. Talk about the anime that's going to get canceled next season. <laughs> Listen, I. First of all, I I liked reading Remonster. Um, it's about a guy who it's an isekai. Okay. This is one of the very first novels that I also read alongside with like Mishoko Tensei and like um, Overlord. Remonster is like one of the earlier ones. And I remember watching or reading this and I don't remember if Jason is the one who got me into it or if I got Jason into it. But um, basically he's from this dude gets stabbed to death by this crazy chick because he's like, you know, because she's a Yandere. Um so then he reincarnates into a fantasy world where he is he becomes a goblin. And the reason I said I'm pretty sure this is the show that everyone's going to cancel next season 
is because since he reincarnates as a goblin, they do goblin things. Take that goblin's for what gonna you goblin. Will. Goblin's gonna be goblin. Goblin D's nuts. And <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Every time I see I see goblin, man, I just think goblin D's nuts. And uh, I'm very apropos. Did that recently on a stream. <laughs> well, she got some only goblin for, D's nuts for what happens in Remonster. Um. So that that's exactly why I think everyone's gonna hate Remonster because it's like there are scenes in the uh at least in the novel and also in, subsequently in the manga. I of think you're goblin you're, you're, things. I think you're glossing over a better reason people will hate it. It's this right here. Also, it's being done by Studio Dean, and I mean Oh, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. No, it will not. It <laughs> will not be fine. Listen, I I think the story is interesting. It's about a guy who becomes a goblin and he like becomes stronger by eating other things and taking properties from them. And that's mainly the story. Uh, the series is also extremely lewd. There are I mean, multiple orgy scenes. I got to write this down. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I will definitely be tuning in. <laughs> In, so in the original novel... I wonder novel, if uh, they're going to be censoring this at all or not, or if they're so, going to be skipping stuff. With the light novel, uh, they, they're they pretty heavy. It, it's like here, it's like chapter 16.5, like, yeah. all the time. And, and, yeah. and it happens quite a Damn. lot. In, I mean, in that, that's what light novel. novels are. They're, they're very in-depth and in detail about everything. Now in the manga, they do show some of the like scenes, but not that's not uh like they don't heavily show it. As okay. they don't heavily talk about it as much as the light novel does. So uh, I I think this is gonna be based on the light novel though. So like it says yeah. source light novel. So like let's see what I, I don't know if Studio Dean is gonna be animating the orgies and stuff like that, but we'll, and it's also mm -hmm. gonna be on Crunchyroll, so hopefully they know what they've signed up for. Yeah. Oh really um, though. Well, all the rape and murder. Let's see what happens. <laughs> they be goblin dudes. They be doing goblin They're goblins. Things. Goblins do as goblins do. Yeah, and I, you know, as much as I like the series, I feel like no one else is going to like it but me. So I'm like, okay, whatever. John, you, you, you forget. We live on the internet. There's plenty of us that are going to be watching this. I'm pretty sure Twitter is going to hate this show. I'm, so. I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's gonna Twitter's like, going to have yeah. a heart attack and then a blowout uh, just hearing the name and the description. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure episode two is going to be showing some of the goblin stuff. Nice. Like the goblin. Not even goblin. episode one. Maybe mm, it happens pretty early on. So is depending it gonna be, on how quick you think they, they might do a uh, 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 Goblin Slayer thing where they put all the really bad stuff in like the first episode or the first couple episodes, and then the rest of it's like way more tame. See, the problem is that it it's a constant thing in, oh. in the show. I'm not saying it could be a good adaptation. Where you know, just use your imaginations, you degenerates, about how it's an anime about a person who is a goblin who is strong and he. When he's able to uh, win fights and take over and capture people, he captures them and does goblin things. There you go. There you, that that that's just in summary, re monster. All right then. All right. Uh, I look forward to hearing all of the uh, very sane discourse around this show that I'm sure <laughs> we're going to hear. Uh, also, sane. one of the characters is just named E. E. Yeah. Oh, they don't. So they have um. They don't actually have names. Like, quite literally, there's like, oh my god. Oh, they, they have names eventually. They get actually told, but they call them like uh, Alchemist Girl, uh, Blacksmith Girl, um, Older Chef Cook Sister. So it is like, it is like, so it uh, is like Goblin Slayer. Goblin Slayer, where <laughs> every person bit, is named after bit. what they do. Yeah. Or what they are. It's going to be, it's going to be great. It's going to be great hearing people talk about this. I, I, I just know it. I know it. All right, uh, so next is uh, Chinoda. Oh. Yeah, Konosuba season The most three. anticipated Let's thing go! from this season. It's because we have peak comedy. Peak is coming back. I'm so happy. So uh, anyone who knows what Konosuba is, you, you know what you're in for. Um, season three is done being done by uh, Studio Drive. <clears throat> but it is... 
the same uh people the staff is the same um as the previous seasons and basically everyone has uh, oh, okay so it's come not over. any different okay no it's not any different it's literally the same staff it's just a different studio but like they retained the staff which oh, okay. i am perfectly happy with um this season i'm very excited they're gonna be introducing some uh new characters that are very uh important shall we say to everything and there's going to be uh stuff is going to be actually moving along in terms of plot uh here and there not too there's much an actual plots there is an actual plot really? there there yeah. is there is surprising but yes there is um it's gonna be really good it's gonna be really fun um anyone who knows what konosuba is you already know what you're here for uh yeah no great time same people we're here. We made it. We made it. <laughs> I never thought it would get more seasons. But then we got, like, last year we got the um, the Megamine spinoff, which was also done by Studio Drive. And that yep. was pretty good. What, which is actually what gives me uh, confidence for season three, because I watched a spinoff and I'm like, yeah, this just feels like more Konosuba. I love it. That's how I know. Yeah, no, it'll, season three is going to be perfectly fine so i'm very John, excited just, just just let us take our cardboard in our mouths and chew just please i mean i i liked going to super season one i still haven't seen season two or any of the anything else like the movies or the spinoff so I'll, I'll take your word for it like i know i didn't hate i don't hate kona so <laughs> I'm, I'm glad it has more seasons yeah um uh, and the the cast like loves doing these characters so and it shows it shows in the performances yeah this so, i this is like the most anticipated thing coming out next season and i understand it's it's great i'm looking forward to it too i'm so excited best john uh, i might actually this. watch something week to week again <laughs> yeah you might actually watch anime finally finally <laughs> finally <laughs> all right uh best emoto is coming i'm so excited Oh God! Uh, so next is also an isekai that I I surprisingly like. Um, Slime Tensei's third season is uh, coming out next uh, in the spring. Uh, this is like the season of threes. There's like so many third. It is the season of threes out, um, in the spring. But I mean, John, I think I talked about it with you once because you were actually surprised that I like this as much as I do. Like, you didn't think going into this, I would love Slime Tensei as much as I do, but I fuck it. Oh, man. I, mean, so the thing is, I originally read Slime Tensei, uh, the web novel. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, it's kind of your stereotypical isekai anime. Um, nothing about it is really stand out, like in terms of writing. And then yeah. I watched the first episode. And I was like, holy crap. They, oh my God. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Look Just at all crank everything up to 11. Like all the crazy sound design, the crazy freaking colors, and it's like, oh, this is actually really amazing. It's well produced. Uh, story still is very mid. However, that it looks pretty and it yeah. sounds good. So that's that's enough. And the characters are fun. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I love Vildora. Um, we get more Best Boy Vildora in this season too. I I'm pretty sure they could wrap this up by a fourth season if they really wanted to. Maybe nah, I want it, more. It, I want so much more. It, no it depends take more seasons. If the third season is going to be 24 episodes or 12. Uh, I, I do not see an episode count as of yet. I hope it's 24. I really well, the, do. The, the first two seasons were what? Were they both 12? I don't, I don't even remember. Don't remember. Hold on. Let me look. Oh, no. The second season was split into two parts. Right, right, And each right. one had 12 episodes. Okay, so the second season had 24 episodes. Okay, all right. I'd, I'd completely forgotten about that. Um, I don't know. Like, I, I feel like Slime Tensei is one of those anime where, uh, yeah, John is right. The story is nothing to write home about at all. But the way it's presented is really fun. <laughs> And, and like I don't the... care that the story is kind of like whatever. I just I like have, watching these characters have fun with what they do. Yeah, like and the uh, amount of quality injected into the series, even though the story is mid, makes it even better. It's like the hell? Why? Why is this getting so much quality? I mean, it's eight bit too. 
That's yeah. So the um the third season is the season. So after season two, part two ends, we find out like, oh, that bad guy that we thought was the bad guy isn't actually the bad guy. There's someone else pulling the strings. Hmm. So the third season is like finally revealing like, hey, this guy's been pulling the strings the entire time. The actual bad guy. The actual bad guy. They actually show you who it is at the end of part two. Mm-hmm. But it's like now we under now now we'll understand the whole plot of the entire story and we'll learn more about like why does Raphael Sensei exist and all this other stuff. Yeah. I'm well, looking I'm, forward to it. <laughs> I'm um, always looking forward to Slime Tensei. I, I love Isekai. I'll always enjoy Isekai anyway. It doesn't matter to me. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So uh, many beautiful girls and boys. I, I it is a buys beautiful uh, hey, dream of a show do you know to put your dick away please no uh rapidly moving on to uh john's <laughs> next choice uh so the new gate is a also a light novel slash manga that i read not a sequel Again. to gate it's not actually a sequel what to a game. lie uh, what a fucking lie jesus what am so... i even here for man <laughs> TNG, the next generation, is an anime uh, about. Da, 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 um, <laughs> this is, I mean, is this technically an isekai? I, yes and no. So, mm-hmm. essentially, the main character guy, he's like a player character, and then they get trapped in a death game, uh, very SAO like. Uh, and then him and his guild actually beat the final boss, and he gets traveled, he gets isekai into the game world. Now the game world is real. Oh. So it's it's an isekai. <laughs> and he's the main character. And he has, like, companion NPCs. And, like, he's technically considered what they would call a high human. Basically, these, these NPCs actually were alive the entire time that they were playing in the video game. But they just considered them, like, high humans. Like, these are the, the godlike creatures and stuff. And we're, we're peons to them. And then now he's actually in in the new world, and it's like, oh, high humans don't exist anymore because when he beat the game, anyone who was alive in the game actually got to like leave, except him, because he killed the boss. What the fuck? So it's it's yeah, it's like it's a the... story. It's a story that starts out as trapped in a video game that becomes an isekai. I wouldn't even say it's trapped in a video game. Like that's just the backdrop. Like, hey, we were trapped in a video game, and then when I beat the final boss, I got transported to a different world. Everyone else got to li- live. Like they, everyone else got to leave. And, but except him, he gets he is now in the video game world. But as it turns out, the video game world has been a real world this entire time. So like, there's lore about like the high humans, how they don't exist anymore, and he's basically super OP because not only is he um, a high human, like an RPG character who can level up. Like, cause you imagine it, NPCs in a video game looking at the main character, like playable characters, where it's like, holy shit, they can do so many crazy things because they don't have a hard limit on their levels person comes up to you hey will you buy this hundred wheels of cheese for me (laughs) (laughs) yes yes i will (laughs) um it's gonna be done by yokohama animation labs i think the animation looks all right uh i like the the world building aspect in the new gate quite a lot Mm. i don't know if people are gonna like the show because (gasps) it's I know this show because I watched it. It's full of real, real Romanesque. I know the one here. next to it. <laughs> John just oh, like they did Tawa on a Monday. I love that one. Gets you know Tawa. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Oh, they did. Oh. That. Oh. 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 <laughs> Anyway, okay. I, I have I have more confidence in them now. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm gonna pretty gloss, well. gloss over that. <laughs> so, I'm not sure if people will like this, mainly because everyone's going to look at it and be like, "Oh, it's basically an Sao rip." I'm like, "No, it's it's written a lot better than Sao." That's uh, a low bar, John. <laughs> it's a very low bar. It's it is an extremely low bar, but I think that bar is not even on the ground; cool. it's in hell. Yeah, uh, no. come on, it's not that bad. Definitely worse. Oh, oh it's there's bad. definitely worse. I just think that the people rating it mid are people who have never read it, <laughs> and they're just they're just reading the synopsis and be like, "This is basically just an Sao rip." It's like, uh, I mean, yeah, it has which, the same backdrop, but which, to be fair, the description does kind of make it sound like that. Yeah. All right. Well, five hundred into the five hundred years into the future in the game world. Oh, 
Okay, no, this sounds vaguely interesting. I'll 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 check it out. Give it a chance. I had no I doubt. Mean, I'm I'm here. I just wanted to see Best Girl Schnee Razor get animated. Okay, Best F Girl. Like, look, scroll down, scroll down to the preview. Is that her? That's Schnee right there. I love her. That's okay. his first. So okay, one I of like the things, elf girls. Just saying. One of the things is that uh, in this game world, they can create companion NPCs. Basically, you can have like um, summons, companion summon NPCs. She is his companion summon NPC, and she's like in love with him because you know it's like oh he created me he's my master are they like the pawns in uh dragon's dogma yeah very similar oh okay oh okay All so right. sponsored by razor you say Razor. <laughs> motorola razor <laughs> all right uh sure uh next what do we have here uh oh god no should be oh god no black butler bro school edition <laughs> I can't believe this is still <laughs> ongoing. Like, I feel like every single fan of Black Butler at this point, they're probably all in their like late twenties to like early thirties. And yeah, no, that's literally all of us. Literally <laughs> was, all of us. I, I like I said before we started, I was gonna say they're in jail, but <laughs> <laughs> like I, would... <laughs> I mean, hey, Lacey's not in jail. She's like right over there. <laughs> You better hope not. You know, There's only one guy that related to the Black Butler thing that I know is in jail when I talked about that story. But oh no, um, I mean, you know, Black Butler has always been popular with a with a certain crowd of people, um, <laughs> a certain crowd. <laughs> and you know, it's kind of just like, yeah, it's it's popular. I don't care for it anymore after like season two. Oh, yeah, I watched oh, season two. One? There's the... Black Butler, like the original. Oh, okay. I, yeah, like, after season two, like... I was just like, yeah, I don't care about Hold the show on. anymore. No, because there was um, there's one, two, the movie three, Book of four. the Atlantic, and then the two yeah. OVA episodes, uh, Book of Murder, and then uh, before that, the Book of Circus. Bro, I don't like, know. There's, this book, art, there's this art up here, this art up here, if you've never watched Black Butler, this is the whole show. This That is, is right the show. Here. That is it. Yeah, no. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I can't, I can't even argue that that's literally it. That's exactly why we love it, in fact. Um, wow. It is, Who's it is very we? much yaoi bait. <laughs> Who is this we you speak of? Are you speaking French? I, I speak we as in the people who love it and mm. me. Thank okay. you very much. Okay. Um, so this season is being done by Cloverworks instead of Avon mm. Pictures. Um. Who did? Is it Cloverworks uh, owned by one though. Is it? I, I, I I'm not one hundred percent sure about that, but I don't know about that, bro. Uh, but what either is this way, Bochy the Rock re re. Hold on. Uh, oh, that that's the way the, more interesting. No, Bochy the Rock re re is no. the uh, re edited like movie that they're doing. Yeah, I I mean I I want so <laughs> Avon did uh, season one and two. Um, but season three is going to be done by Cloverworks. Uh, most of the same staff is coming back. So uh, very exciting, especially um, the voice acting roles. So fine on that uh, front. Couple of the original staff isn't there anymore. It's uh, they've been uh, it's been changed by different people. But I think it'll be fine based on what I saw in the trailer. The trailer looks super high quality. Listen, and I'm... Let's, let's be honest here. Ain't nobody care about the actual like producers and stuff. And you no. know why you're here. You yeah, know yeah. why you're gonna be. We're just here for the Yaoi bait. Come it, on. It's literally just the Yaoi bait. Let's be I mean, honest. I mean, hold on. Come here, come here. Listen to me. All right. If you're still watching this, I am. You know why you're here. <laughs> you <laughs> fucking pervert. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, Black Butler season three. Holy shit, it's still coming out. <laughs> I surprised the manga is still releasing. That's also a shock to me. Like, I feel yeah. like Black Butler was there when I started anime, and Black Butler is still here as I'm still watching. You can say that about One Piece, though. <laughs> oh, you can absolutely say that about One Piece. You probably will be saying it when we're dying. Yeah. <laughs> like, One Piece my, is still airing. <laughs> be on my deathbed, Odo will be like 158 years old, and I'll be. <laughs> God, it's still not over, you <laughs> fucker. Probably Mecha Oda by then. <laughs> Mecha Oda. Uh, all right. Yeah, that's it for me. All right, Super excited. Uh, so then uh, the next one I got is uh, one that I think a lot of people are looking forward to. Uh, Kaiju number eight. 
so I, my I have no um, experience with the manga that this is based off of. I just know that when this got announced as an anime adaptation, a lot of people were super hyped, and I don't know why. Like, uh, so I read the manga. Of um, course you do. <laughs> of course I do. I read out so much. Is it good? Uh, it's. I mean, it's hard for me to say it's good because to me it feels like a stereotypical shonen, but in shonen fashion or maybe not in shonen fashion i don't know i love all the characters in it like all the side characters like um what's her name kikuro the one i is the one i is going to be uh voice this acting. one say yeah, less kikuro. say kikuro? less <laughs> yeah y'all, say right. less i love her character arc and like the stuff that happens for that it's it's all really good and like yeah it's like you're like oh typical shonen bait show where it's like you have this main character who has this OP skill, right? Well, guess the fuck what? He's not the focus of the show. He has his main power skill, but it's like there's literally so many other people that they talk about and like how they train and level up. Like everyone's a shown in protagonist in the show, in my opinion. It's not just the guy, which is great. So it's like I got multiple main characters, essentially. Yeah, they're all like important characters. Damn, I mean, I'm yeah. assuming we're following just one or do we actually see the perspectives of various others? No, so we follow the main guy Kafka. We'll be going through his eyes in the okay. beginning, but as we're introduced to the, all the other characters, we'll be following their stories, like also as well. Oh, okay, so that's yeah, no, like that... the difference in Shonen, where it's like we have a main character, but the supporting characters are also important to the show. So does it it's a lot of building around them? Does it do like the whole Naruto thing where it's like uh, ostensibly the show is centered around or the, the manga is centered around Naruto as a character, but you have these occasions where we're introduced to new characters and then we get to go see them do other things. Yeah, it's kind of like that. OK, OK, I'm, I'm here for I'm it. I'm down for that because I actually kind of like that style of shonen storytelling where like it doesn't seem like the entire world is centered around one character. John, uh, to go back a single season real quick, Ishura does that. I keep my coworker keeps telling me I need to go watch Ishura because he says the exact same thing. And I'm like, well, I love World. It literally like that, does. So that. I, I will. There are multiple main characters. Uh, the OP and the ED for Kaiju Number Eight is pretty decent too. Uh, I'm yeah. a little iffy about Production IG doing the uh, the 3D because I watched the trailer and I was like. Eh. I mean, look, I just watched this trailer right before we started recording, and I thought it looked fine, honestly. Production IG no, I, is I just is feel one like I'm weird ones, though. I've been ruined by Chainsaw Man, where I'm like, this is my standard now. If you're <laughs> yeah. not as good as Chainsaw Man with your, your CGI, like, I, don't even talk to me. Your bro. bar has been set way yeah, your too bar high, has been set <laughs> I know. Way too high. <laughs> I know. You see no, what the good can be, and that's your John. standard. John, would you agree that Production IG is one of those weird studios where it comes to CG, where it's either th it looks really good or really bad? There's no in between with them. Yeah. I disagree on the really bad part. I think they, uh, even some of their worst has been decent. Not is Production bad, IG bad. helping with Uzumaki? They are. Yeah, I did not know that. I'm trying. Like, I mean, John, John. I know. Don't, John. don't, <laughs> don't bring this up. <laughs> We don't talk about that. Okay. John, why do they keep ruining about taken. that? Why do they keep ruining Coolie John? Point taken. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to this just based hold on, on hold what on. people scroll have back. told me. Go, scroll back. Did scroll I just see Kimi from me to you season three? Are they finally finishing what? the adaptation for the anime? Hold on. What? Where? What are you what are you talking Scroll, about? No, go go back to the production IG list. Oh, the production IG page. Yeah. Can you need a Total Gate third season? Oh. Yo. Oh. Yeah, it's coming out later this year, I believe. Oh my uh, lord. Like, the fall? They're finally finishing it. Ten years later. <laughs> Fifteen years later. Oh crap. Does anyone even care other than John? Listen, I like the manga, man. Like <laughs> as show as far as shoujo manga go, it's pretty damn good, right? <laughs> Koronuma is freaking cute, all right? Uh, John got so excited about a show that's not even coming out next season. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I just saw it, and I was like, hold on, what? Mm -hmm. It's but, it's getting finally finished? <laughs> but I, I definitely plan to check out Kaiju Number 8, just based on what people have told me like the manga is like. And hearing John say that it's got a sort of storytelling 
uh, style like they do with Naruto, where other characters get to become the focus for a little while. I'm way on board with that. And again, I feel like a lot of people are going to compare it to like Chainsaw Man because of like how the premise is hmm. literally in the first in the preview. You'll see what happens. But um, Un- unfortunate, <laughs> a lot of them it. are going to compare it to Chainsaw Man and they're going to hate it because it's not Chainsaw Man. And I'm like, it's not Chainsaw Man. It's different. I'm going to keep it real. I saw the trailer. Shit was hype. I'm watching it. <laughs> there you go. I mean, I don't think people are going to hate Shonen. No one really hates Shonen for being, like, Shonen. No. Tell that to the elitists. <laughs> Tell yeah. that to them. Tell that to people who have literally sat through a thousand plus episodes of One Piece. <laughs> Wouldn't that mean they like Shonen because they've sat through a thousand episodes? I don't. No, it means they like One Piece. Yeah, no, that's true. That's true. Those are a different breed. I'll tell you right now. Anyway, uh, moving on. Uh, what do we got? Uh, John, go bait. for it. Bait. I don't know how to say this bait. shit. <laughs> All right. It's bait. I see elves. Mao no ore ga dore elf wa yome ni standa ga do meta reba e. Ye. All right. Because it's John. What What is the the English title is going to be? An Archdemon's Dilemma, How to Love Your Elf Bride. That is not uh, what the Japanese says at all. No, no. That is not what the Japanese translates to. But the, what the Japanese translation translates to is a little bit iffy. It's a little sus. Um, Speaking of Twitter. <laughs> it's not PC. Gonna, <laughs> I think that people are going to like the show because it's, it's so cute, bro. The, like, you want your new weekly shot of diabetes type of, like, romance show? This is going to be it. Damn, Quite literally, base? that's a name I haven't heard in a while. Um, there's a guy, his name is Zagon, he's a, a demon lord, hence the Mao name. Uh, he finds this girl, uh, Nephi, and he's like, Oh my god, she's beautiful. He falls in love with her, and then, like, look at this face, look at yeah, this, she's so face. cute, so she's cute. so cute, and the way that they interact with each other is so cute. They're like <laughs> so the main character is Agon is like kind of like a Sundari, right? Mm. Um and he just never says what he wants to actually say. And he just like he's a tough dude. Anyway, he protects his baby girl Nephi all the time, and it's amazing. Because she's like this magical elf that's like, oh, she's a magical elf. We're in this world of magic and demon lords and stuff. They want to part her out because like we can use her her bones for alchemy. And he's like, fucking try me, bitch. And he'll <laughs> fuck them up. And I was just like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's the show. I think it's going to be cute. No, there's good action. Cute. There, There's cute romance. Who is this studio? Brainspace? Brainspace, I said. I haven't heard this name in such a long time. I think the guys... Isn't Brainspace... Oh! Did, um, they did uh, the original seasons of um, Dorada and... Um, what's the other one the guy did? Uh, Bakano. Oh, yeah. yeah. And they've, uh, they've also worked on Golden Kamui. Kamui! Golden Kamui! Okay. Okay. <laughs> Kiss him, not me. <laughs> I forgot they worked on that. Oh, so they've yeah. actually worked on decent they've... stuff. Okay. Oh yeah, they've worked on some pretty decent stuff. I just I haven't really heard the name prominently in so long. But anyway, well, yeah, no, it... the premise sounds super cute. I'm looking forward to it. I'm just gonna say right now, best girl. I don't even have to see the damn show. It's this is the best girl. Down. <laughs> yeah, you don't even know what the show's about, bro. <laughs> but yeah, I don't no, have nephew's, to know. <laughs> nephew's best girl, though. Actually, yeah. See, I can I can tell, <laughs> John. I can tell. No competition. All right. Um, so since Natai isn't here, uh, this is normally the part where we go into our rapid fire segment. I did want to go ahead and put some of the stuff that Natai wanted to talk about had he been here um, at this part. So. Um, Peak anime is obviously coming back next season, so we'd be Part remiss two. if we didn't at least mention it. Uh, John, do you at least want to tell us how excited we should be for this next uh, core? Is it mostly chill like it was in part one, or does uh, shit ramp up? Shit ramps up. Okay. okay. I'm here so for it. So remember how Rudy was like, I need to go find my mom? Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's going to go find his mom. Nice. The actual best girl in it. <laughs> And, Best um, milk. <laughs> and then you'll yeah. you'll learn why Sylphie truly is best girl <laughs> this season as well. I right. listen, I'm I'm so here That's for That's all it. I'm gonna say. <laughs> all I'm hearing is season two is why Sylphie is actually best girl. 
still yeah. feels, I mean, like John said, John told me by the end of this season, I should definitely understand why he believes that Sylvia is best girl. I think everyone will understand why Sylvia is best girl by the end of this season. And there is no competition. There's okay. a lot of girls, man. Well, I mean, uh, we'll see. <laughs> you'll see. You'll all see. You'll uh, all oh. come to understand my ways. <laughs> Just the way John is like, they'll understand. <laughs> Through they'll my dark understand. reckonings, they'll understand. <laughs> Just sitting there like a raccoon trying to eat. <laughs> that is John. <laughs> <laughs> I am a little John trash, a trash panda, panda for Isekai, yes. <laughs> uh no i am super looking forward to it this is enough this is a, a show which i think we definitely will be doing a smaller cast on uh because we did a smaller cast on the first core when it aired last year um so definitely look forward uh to that on the shonen front though um we have a brand new season of demon slayer coming out this is anyone's yawn. Our training arc <laughs> yawn Yawn. Wow! Wow! wow no, JK, I'm wow. actually looking forward to it. I was gonna <laughs> like, say, of course, I'm I, I, I was, I was to gonna it. say this dude watches the most jacked up shit you've ever seen. If he's saying yawn, you've done something very wrong. No, I mean let's be very real. The story in this is mid as fuck. Like, yeah, that's what it is. The action scenes are cool, bro. But the action scenes are peak. They're fucking amazing. This I will a... say that the Hashira training arc is not as good as Mugen Train, but nothing can really top Mugen Train in my yeah, opinion. Yeah, I was going to say, like, can, it, can <laughs> anything top Mugen Train? I, I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, in my the, opinion, the... I don't think anything can top Mugen Train, but that's just, you know, a personal opinion. So yeah, who cares? This is literally called training arc. This is going to just be a training montage for the season, and it's not going to be that great. Well, it, it'll though. be something to watch, but it's not going to be, like, top tier. It is it is uh like falling into the mold though. First episode will have a runtime of roughly one hour. I know I thought some... about going to theaters to see this, but then I was like, what's the point? It's just gonna be the same I... thing again. It's also gonna be on Crunchyroll. <laughs> one of my coworkers went to go watch it and he was just like, Yeah, it was the same bullshit. And I was like, unfortunate. The, <laughs> uh, the blacksmith training arc where it's like, Yeah, we got to see an hour uh, basically we got to see the first episode and then a recap of the last episode i'm like oh unfortunate <laughs> i i kind of oh. hate i i hate that because how mugen train released and it like they're like oh we can release new movies but the new movies that they've released so far are just we're gonna show you the last episode from the last season and the first episode from the f new season now that's, you know why it happened movie. again because it sold well enough to do it because people yeah. went and saw it. That's why. And They'll it's keep so on unfortunate doing it. because it's like, maybe we'll get a Mugen train again. It's like, nah, we're not getting Mugen train again, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we're not getting Mugen train again. Like, it's a lesson. Read the description before you go in. <laughs> Pardon the now pun, to, but that train has left the station. <laughs> to his defense, though, he didn't. He's very um, anti spoiler. So he doesn't want to know, know nothing about it. That's, like, fair. So he's that's a fair the thing, but. Like that's what happens when you don't look up anything when you go watch it. So yeah. So he, he yeah, he's like, yeah, I can't be disappointed because I that my own damn fault. After the first time, I should have known. I was like, I know, right? Because it's like, yeah, you wouldn't, you'd think they wouldn't do this twice in a row, and yet here we are. Yeah, um, <laughs> we did it I, again. You mentioned it before, John. I kind of feel like with Demon Slayer, kind of how I feel with Slime Tensei. Like I'm not really here for the story at this point because the story is so damn predictable. Yeah, I'm just here for the cool ass fight scenes and shit. Yeah. Cool fight scenes, good music. Like it's, yeah. it's just a cool show. And the hype moments. The and hype, the hype moments, moments are absolutely yeah. hype. Absolutely. I mean, the highs of Demon Slayer are really high. Everything else is like down here. Yeah. Uh, so also uh, on the show in the front, what we got coming out that I'm sure no one here gives a fuck about. I don't care. <laughs> MHA season seven. <laughs> I, I let's go. Care. Good bait. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> All I know is apparently the Dark Deku arc was like supposed to be the most hype thing in the world, and it wasn't hype at all. So I'm like, I, I don't trust MHA fans to be listening to you. You never should have, buddy. You <laughs> never should have. Can I, like, can I say though, I, I really wish more Shonen would take, well, I guess nowadays they have, more Shonen would take this release approach. Just release like, 10 to 12 episodes every year instead of having week to week shit oh absolutely no i fully fully agree with that it you can't do that with something like one piece obviously but 
I would argue they should. It allows for much more quality, much more control. It does go on hiatus from time to time. Not very long, but it does. Yeah, I mean, but... I, the music and the fights. Like, <laughs> I, I don't like MHA, but I think the fight scenes are pretty hype and the music's pretty hype, so... Yeah. That's, I think the music's yeah. okay. Bro, you dare say that? Uh, how yeah, do you... I what? Do. I, I, I think mean, it's okay. I... I I will shit on MHA with the best of them, and I agree with y'all on this. The music is hype. I'm sorry, I have to disagree. I think you say it's run like really does go with everything. Honestly, like I think uh, it might be the fact that I've heard it so much in so many places. I'm just like tired of it. It might be. Do you know just what that. else I've heard Maybe, in a lot of places know. recently, and I'm not tired of it? Ding dong dong ding dong. <laughs> yeah, I know the the, the freaking. Bling, the... bling, bang, bang, bong. I don't know. I just go that, 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 that. that. I, it's, it's everywhere, and I, you know what? I, I still like it. Yes, yeah, that is true. Dude, the song is hype. Though so <laughs> anyway. that just came out versus it being here for years. Yeah, on that, that is also true. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, uh, that is coming out. Um, I'm looking it, forward to it. No, the only wrong. thing I'm looking forward to is every single time a new season of of MHA is is airing. We get a deluge of new porn, and I'm. Oh, yeah, that's going to be the good stuff. That's going to be the great stuff. Can I just mention how I find it weird that they uh, Twitter got mad? So Twitter does a lot of like very sussy things with MHA and the underage kids and that, right? You think? <laughs> and then like the actual artist or mangaka was like, "Hey." look at uh invisible girl and let's make her lewd and then like they lost their absolute fucking minds over it but i'm like but you guys did this <laughs> you <laughs> did the this exact same thing and it's like but when we draw them they're above 18 okay we age them up and i'm like no you don't <laughs> like how can you tell what are you talking about <laughs> all it's like as long as i put a disclaimer all characters depictioned are 18 plus and it's like but you drew them like they look in the show and they're not 18 in the show so i don't understand what the hell that means but apparently if the actual official artist does it it's a problem and i'm like yeah. you guys didn't have a problem with this before don't lie to me man come on, like come on i mean twitter people bro. online are weird john <laughs> people online are super weird man like just make it make sense man yeah just if you're going to be a full-on degenerate, don't bash people for being degenerates because you're a fucking degenerate yourself. Like, I get that you have this whole self-hate thing. And this is... <laughs> We're moving on. I'm moving on. Yeah. Let's All right. Hey, joke. let's move on to something happy. Uh, this, is a, this is our rapid-fire segment. And, uh, yeah, Yoda Camp Season 3 is coming out. I know I'm the only one Peacock. that's hyped about this. But I don't know. It. Japan loves Euro Camp, so I'm just... <laughs> oh, man. This... So, this is not super big in the West, but Yoda Camp is huge in Japan. Which is you why, why that is. Seasons. Do you know why that is? Because cute girls doing cute things is awesome. Not only is cute girls doing cute things awesome, uh, camping is very popular in Japan. Yes. Because, really? Well, they don't. <laughs> Actually, yeah, it does. Make Japan sense. Well, being yeah. Japan, a lot of people don't vacation outside of Japan because one, it's expensive. Two, you have to use vacation time, and by God, do they look down on you if you try to use your actual vacation? Like <laughs> the, God the ones they you, give you. The days God they forbid give you. that the three weekends or three weeks that they give you off a year, you use it, any of it. <laughs> so whatever. So, what the hell? But anyway, you act because like of a that, person? Uh, because they have that whole culture around like not taking vacations ever, they have to do a lot of like weekend trips, like doing go during Golden Week, for example, where they have like basically a whole week off and um, weekends and stuff. They do a lot of day trips. So camping is one of the popular things to do. Like going to the beach or going camping and stuff is popular because of that. You can do it in a day or two. Yeah, and when 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 you say camping in Japan, it's like tent camping, not RV camping. Yeah, then they, they don't have the roads for RVs. What the heck? No, uh, but I, I think that's that. Yeah, John's right. That's probably why it's the bigger reason why it's so popular um, in Japan. Big change for this season is Eight um, Bit is doing the animation now instead of um, God. Who was doing it before? I forget um c station c station. Yeah. station was the studio that was doing it before um i have to say they've also changed the character designs with the new season and i love eight bits drastically eight on the character designs yeah it, it looks, looks even cuter. a lot different what the heck also the animation in the trailer i'm not going to play it because we'll probably get dmca'd even if i don't play the audio uh but the animation looks even better i mean i, mean, I like eight bits so 
Yeah, That's yeah. Cool. for, for still, Madhouse staff. <laughs> I'm still never gonna watch Eurocamp just because Alex loves it, and I cannot <laughs> watch things people love. The seed, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you like that show, and I didn't watch it before. I'm never watching it now. <laughs> uh, anyway, I, I'm I'm super hyped for it. Um, again, part of the season of threes. Okay. Uh, next, John. Uh, freaking level two cheat whatever uh, trash isekai Yawn. very Yawn. Yawn. Another I was world. About to say. chilling, chilling in another world of my level two yeah. cheat superpowers all right yeah. dude reincarnates into another world and he's super op and he just wants to chill anyway his wife fucking hilarious look at her look at look at that girl freaking hilarious i love her look at those tits yo. Yo. Hey, yo. <laughs> so like he literally gets summoned to this world they're like hey you're weak because your skills are level two so then he gets banished and then he goes to this forest and he bodies this girl and her and she's like part of the demon army literally bodies the Fenrir. So then she's like, oh, you bodied me. Please be my husband. And now she shenanigans ensue where he's now living in the demon forest and is just trying to have a cool life. Imagine if that's how like stuff worked in the real world. Like you just beat the shit out of someone to like marry me. Listen, all I, the show is going to be trash. I don't care. Ryu Kugumi is voicing um, Fenrir. And I, I just, that's all I needed. That's man. all. <laughs> that's that's all you had to say, man. That's all you had to say. <laughs> I'll probably get uh, take a couple of drinks, watch it, and be like, yeah, I'll probably watch the rest of it. <laughs> it's probably what's gonna happen. Yeah, man, it's just isekai trash. You eat it is or what? isekai like, trash. I love that <laughs> shit. What are you eating, kidding me? Bro. We eating. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's all it. right. Moving on. Next, uh, Chinoda. Talk about oh, old yeah. people. Old people. I love old people. They're funny have as shit. Have you read the manga? I have not. I know you have, though. I have read. I love this manga. It's so cute. <laughs> yeah, and so basically, these two old people, Oji-san and Obasan, they, they're old, obviously, and all of a sudden, they wake up one day, they're young as hell, but they're still their old selves, so they're fully in love. They They act like old people still, and it's just... Super cute, super hilarious. Uh, John, do you want to ex- say again? Is it as wholesome as it appears to be? Yes. From everything okay. I've heard, yes. I it might is check this super out. Super goddamn cute. Yeah, it's, it's freaking the... hilarious. So even though the main characters, the grandma and the grandpa, uh, have their youthful bodies again, they're still like old people on the inside, and that's it. That's that's the that's the story. That's the cuteness. That's it. It's like old souls trapped in young bodies. Seriously. No, it literally is. And you know what? That it is so fucking cute. I all I've seen is hype for this show because like it's so heartwarming. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, give me that diabetes. I'll, I'll hey, take it, dude. I'll the take the it. old the old man is voiced by Kaiki. Okay, yeah. I'm here for this. <laughs> I'm so here for this. All right, I, that actually seems super wholesome. I might actually check this out. Um, on a completely opposite end of the spectrum, let's talk about this shit. Oh, I didn't know you put this in your uh, high speed. I did. Okay, Uh, I did. Bro, what is this show like? Actually, oh, the ballerina. Yeah. So yeah, weird. The synopsis is wild, bro. Like, I wanted to be a ballerina, but I had a major injury, so I became a neat. But now I'm into racing cars. Like, what? Yeah, a neat, a neat, and a gamer. Uh, and then it's like, okay, we're gonna go into uh, future Formula One. <laughs> yeah, how future, does that track? Future F one, like, okay, that's kind of cool. Uh, it's free, fully three D CG. And I was like, oh, okay. I mean, it doesn't look bad. It's whatever. Yeah, I mean, so this is an anime original. Uh, it had it's one of the producers is Yostar, which I do believe produces mobile games. What I think. I have no idea, but I didn't. Oh, I didn't know Good Smile helped produce this. Okay, yeah, it's one of the producers is Good Smile, so I wonder if this ties into their Good Smile Racing division. I don't know. Probably not. I don't know. Wait, what is Good Smile? I, I'm curious. They make they make Nendoroids. Oh, yeah, they. It's a pretty big company, man. What? Yeah, it's a pretty big merch company. Uh, I mean, they make a lot of other stuff besides just figures and and shit like that. But um, they also have a race team. I, I I don't know why, but they have a racing team. Because racing Miku is hot. Yeah. So a lot of the cars that you see, like if you ever see the the GT cars that got the Miku wraps on them, that's almost always a Good Smile racing car. Oh. Um, okay. This is a I, th- weird this, collab, but okay. This this high. I don't even know how to pronounce it. High speed etwa. I think is how you're supposed to say it. Um, 
I, I no parlez-vous français. Uh, it, it just seems wild. The, the whole premise is like, what? Huh? <laughs> Yeah, I don't understand that first, like, two sentences in the uh, description. Because I'm like, what does that have anything to do with why? Why is she racing? <laughs> why, yeah. How does ballet dancing and, like, motorsports, how does this combine? I don't know. Well, I know the gamer thing into uh, motorsports is a thing. It wasn't that a real guy? Some guy I mean, that was well, always there's, playing. Well, there's um... this, I mean, there's a lot of people. There's a, there's a concept or, a, like, sim racers, right? There's a lot of those that actually go and become actual racers. No, there there is literally a movie about that. Uh, the guy who was playing like Gran I don't Turismo? remember which. <laughs> is it Gran Turismo? He was playing Gran Turismo. Is that the actual? No, no. Like... There's a, there was a Gran Turismo movie that came out, and that, I think that's essentially what the story is about. I've heard. Yeah, uh, isn't that a real yeah. story though? Yeah, it is. I, I'm sure yeah, it is. Yeah, I know. I, I swear know what... it was like based on it a is. real story. It like, is. It is. Some guy based on a real story. Yes. He was really good at playing Gran Turismo, and he became an actual like race car driver. <laughs> Now, I will say before I move on, if there's any reason why I should watch it, it's this right here. Yui Horie is playing one of the characters, and that's good enough for me. All right, cool. <laughs> so I'm, anyway. uh, I'm assuming this is the one to uh, recommend to the car people. Uh, I don't sure. know about that, bro. I, don't know. <laughs> I mean, or I'll probably people. at least I'll probably give this at least three episodes since it's ostensibly about racing, but. Who knows? It might surprise me. It is full three, full three D CG. So I don't know, man. Yeah. Actually, no. It's not even three D CG. It's just CG. Okay. Full of CGI. But anyway, moving on. Oh God. Yeah, uh, the true right. bait of the season. We're gonna Another get fucking guy, uh, reincarnated as the seventh prince and studies. Anyway, uh, this show is very sussy. Like, <laughs> uh, I read the light novel and also the manga. Um, it's. It's straight up just show to bait. Like if you just watch the trailer, it I'm like you you watch the trailer, you'd be like, oh. Has anyone told show about this yet? <laughs> <laughs> I uh I don't want to watch the trailer because I feel like I might get a knock on the door from Chris Hansen. <laughs> uh, Say? Anyway, it's typical it's it's Isekai trash. Dude reincarnates. Uh he's the seventh prince and he wants to learn magic and he's super OP. And apparently and surrounded a- by women. It's just a surrounded in the trailer. He's surrounded by women because he's a little in, kid. In the art, he's surrounded by women. In the in the key art, yeah. Anyway, uh, I think that there's actual really cool scenes in this. Where, <laughs> of course, you know, really in manga, cool. In the manga, for example, uh, the art is really nice. Really cool scenes, <laughs> John. <laughs> So you have to watch the trailers to see what I'm talking about. So they, uh, one thing that's unique about the the manga, for example, is that when they do scenes where Lloyd, the main character's name is Lloyd, uh, when he's like, he's like, no shit, like, let me test my new magic on you. It like goes full color panel and it like breaks through the panels and stuff. It's very immersive in the art. I really like it. Like, it's cool that his power is so say, strong. There can be only one selfie. There can that's be only cool. one. Listen. There can be only one white-haired beauty in my... Anyway, anime. yeah, Silpha's his battle maid. I love battle maids. Anyway, so do you think um, Do you think this is an anime that Twitter might have a problem with, too? I mean, they don't do anything nearly as bad as, like, Remonster does, so I don't mm. think so. Okay. Other not than to mention that, that people, it's a Shota, like, not a Loli, so they don't, yeah, they don't no one, care. No one cares about Shotas. It's only Lolis people have a problem with. All right. Um, I guess moving on then. Uh, Jinoda. Yes. Uh, the banished former hero lives as he pleases. This this looks. <sighs> Speaking of other looks isekai bad. trash. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is of course isekai Oops, as well. Isekai. Yeah. Um, this I this just the... doesn't look good. I read the manga. Yeah, it's not that great. Yeah, it's, like it's the description whatever. is literally the title. <laughs> like John. quite literally, Alan is the most bland. This is the most isekai, generic isekai, isekai. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's nothing really unique about it. Even the name is bland, Alan. Yeah, it's being done by Studio Dean, so that tells me all take, I need to know. Yeah, t- everything you possibly need. <laughs> Wow, yeah. that's a lot of like really bad scores on it just because it's uh isekai. A lot of isekai haters up in this. Oh well. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> it, it's not gonna be great, yeah. I get do you have anything else to say to before we move on? Yeah, save your breath, save your time. Don't bother. Okay. 
I mean, I'm going to watch it. I don't care. <laughs> like, I'll probably yeah. watch it, too. I'm just telling everyone else don't. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Bartender, Glass of God. Um, this looks interesting. This does look interesting. Not to be too stereotypical as the Irishman who's just, like, fascinated by anything that has to do with alcohol. <laughs> booze, um, you say. <laughs> booze. Booze. I'm I'm a better. lot of people rated this so low. Like, what? Why do they know. hate the show? So this is based on a manga I have not read. Uh, I know nothing about it other than I literally this one sentence synopsis. This brilliant bartender can uplift any troubled soul with a glass of God. Um, I would love to meet a bartender that can do that. Um, if this, I draw if this show, slice of life. What? If this show is literally just about like the life of being a bartender, I'm here. Wait, reboot or new season? What? What? I I don't know because I know nothing about there being a, apparently there was a another anime called Bartender which I never saw. I've never this is back in two thousand six. Highest rated in two thousand. What people like this? I thirty fifth highest rated in two thousand six. Thirtieth most popular in 06. Uh, I mean, apparently That's okay. High. I, so I, I don't I don't know if this is a reboot or remake of this original anime. I've never seen this anime, so I don't know. Uh, apparently it is because it's uh, the source is the same manga for both of them. So I'm okay. assuming it's just a remake. Um, but just based on what I saw in the in the trailer, it's like it seems like a basic slice of life, just surrounded by or like the central character is a bartender, and you get to see what his life is like. Okay, I'm kind of I'll, I'll check it out. I don't know why people are just like dunking on it, but anyway, it looks like something more for mature people and want something that has substance. And yes. th this looks like uh, this looks like that's it. I don't know. Like, one of the tags is Sanin, so I don't know. Maybe they talk about some heavy shit. I don't, I don't fucking know. I'm going to check this out, though, just because I'm kind of curious, and I know so little about it. Oh, it's a remake. It's Yeah, I believe we were just saying that. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> like, the source for both of these anime is the same manga. And I think this manga has been finished for, yeah, quite a while. 09 is when it ended. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, how it goes. Maybe I'll watch it. Moving on to John. Uh, all right, another Isekai trash. <laughs> I'm shocked. <laughs> Shock. Uh, I also I only read the manga for this. I have not gone to read the light novel. Hmm. Um, dude, Isekais. Now this is different of an Isekai because his ability is that he can see people's stats. So everyone has like stats in the world, like ranking of like you know leadership skills magic skills stuff like that that's his isekai ability yeah the pop-up yeah he has a pop-up menu where he can read your actual ability factors like where you can max out at and that's it and he has to be a domain lord and he goes through war it's more dramatic uh it's not about him being like op or anything it's about him gathering allies to like create the world and kingdom that he wants so if you like political like if you <gasps> like um <gasps> realist yeah kind of how that was in it so if you like a realist Mao or any of like the drama thrilled centric like isekai, you'll probably like this. Is it more focused on like the world building and stuff than yeah, like... world building and drama? Ah, okay, shit, I love that. God, it's not that actually. The... It's it's not like he. It's not like Overlord where he just kind of steamrolls everyone. No, what was that? There was a isekai that came out. I want to say it was like within the last year or so that you told me to check out, and I did, and I kind of liked it. It was the one where dude dude gets isekai. And instead of like going off and having an adventure, he starts like building a nation. What? You're have to be more descriptive. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's you know a lot of guys that are down? just like that. Do you know? Little... I don't know. There was one that John recommended, and I checked it out. It was actually because it focused almost entirely on world building and character development, and nothing else. Again, I don't know. Have I'll, I'll have there's to go back and look at it and see. That. I'll have to go back and look and see, but it, it the way you're describing this makes me gives me like flashbacks to that. Yeah, I All like right. reading the manga. Okay. All right. Uh, next is Blue Archive of the Animation. Now I know this is based on a game, and I know the game is essentially a waifu collector. That's all I know. I yeah. The only thing I know about Blue Archive is apparently it's really popular. Um, as a 
waifu simulator, like a JPEG collector game. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's all I know about Blue Archive. Yeah. I know Alex is looking forward to the explosion in Dojins. I mean, I know that's all I know. I know that this is a super popular mobile game. Uh, especially uh, the other game. thing that I know about Blue Archive is like apparently there's a lot of the lolis in it or something. Yes. Again, <laughs> Alex is looking forward, which to is the really the only thing that's ever had it on my radar. Like, oh. I fuck the game. I don't fuck the game. I don't care. Just look at the art. It's fine. It's fine. Art. I mean, all I'm saying is like, where's my Genshin anime, bro? There is a Genshin anime though, isn't there? No. No. It hasn't come out yet. Oh, Cutscenes. I thought it was. <laughs> one was announced though. It just hasn't come out yet. I have no I idea when it's going to come out. Anyway, that's all I got to say about this. I don't care, but I'm sure it will lead to an explosion of new art. Uh, next. Oh my this god. This is still going? Yes. Um, Demon Lord <laughs> Demon Lord Academy Season 2 Part 2. <laughs> so in... Season 2 fell off so fucking hard. So for season, various reasons. Season 2 had a problem with their production schedule because, like, everyone caught COVID and then, like, things happened and then they couldn't finish the actual, like, season, part one of season two. Uh, it's not so, just that. the um, They rushed through the story as well. That's what yeah. I'm complaining about. an adaptation about. issue, not necessarily a people getting COVID issue. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's kind of the, the yada yada over a lot of stuff, which is a shame. Like, a lot um, of stuff to the point where it's like, what the fuck is this even happening kind of thing? Which, in my opinion, made it practically unwatchable. Oh, I didn't know the manga got canceled. That's a shame. I, I wonder I why. <laughs> Wait, is, isn't this the spinoff novel or a spinoff manga? I have no idea. Damn. Either Four way. volumes, sixteen chapters, canceled. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> that that's bad. <laughs> uh, anyway, I, I, <laughs> it's it's coming out. Hopefully, that with a better production schedule and storytelling. But and people don't not getting not. COVID. <laughs> probably not. I like the show still. I mean, I like the source, so who cares? All right. Uh, so next. Um, well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me. I mean, it's it's not what you think. Actually, it might be what you think, but I don't know. Um, so, despite the name, you would be forgiven for thinking this is yet another shitty adaptation of that whole one one room concept. It is not. Um, apparently, I, I found this out while while looking at this. Apparently, one room is what a lot of Japanese people just call studio apartments. Uh, so that's what this is about. The uh, the English title is Studio Apartment, Good Lighting, Angel Included. Uh, okay. FBI, basically, you can go away. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> what? What was that? FBI, FBI was about to knock, oh, okay. knock you on your door, man. Okay. Uh, I mean, basic premise is dude has a studio apartment. Some chick is on his balcony uh, one day, and then adventures ensue. That's it. That's the whole thing. Okay. It's like ostensibly like a rom com, I guess, and there's also angels involved, like actual angels. Uh, but that's okay. It. Anime girl falls into your lap. Very stereotypical anime. Cool. Yeah, I can watch it. I mean, the girls are cute, but that's all it's got going for it. That's literally it. Uh, it's it has nothing to do with one room. The actual like really perverted shit. Bro, yeah, with then, so many waifus every freaking season, like there are a dime a dozen at this point. Who cares? <laughs> you're not wrong. You're not wrong. You need more pull than just having a cute character design anymore. Um, and I believe this is the last thing on our. Oh no, it's not. That's it. That is our list. No, right. wait a minute. We missed something. Did, Did we? we? Natai, maybe. No, uh, no. Uh, mysterious disappearances. I forgot to oh. add that here. Uh, help me this find guy. it. Uh, Fushigi. All right, scroll down. Nope. Scroll down. I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find it. Scroll down. <laughs> Should I just start at the right bottom? In the middle. Right there. Right here. Kai no one more down. No, no, this one. Yeah, yep, that one. That's it. There we go. I found it. Um John, this is yours. It's a uh, supernatural. Oh, so weirdly enough, I don't know anything about this other than I was scrolling through and I was just like, all right, I need to add something that's not Isekai because holy crap. <laughs> 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 something that i'm not reading or watching and something else that i can look forward to um i like mystery drama shows quite a lot uh this is mystery drama 
And then I started looking at all the talent behind the voice actors. I'm like, I Farouz, Yui Hori, oh, damn. Uh, Yu Yu Chida, Rie really? Takahashi, Holy shit. Yeah, and I was this like, is yo, stacked. what, 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 what is this? It's freaking cast list. God damn, this is absolutely stacked in terms yeah, of its voice like acting. an all star cast list. And then I watched the uh, the preview and I was like, okay, this actually looks kind of interesting with the whole mystery aspect. Basically, this big busty lady wants to be uh, an, she used to be uh, she got awards for writing when she was younger and she's like a failed author, I guess. And then mysterious fucking shit happens like people dying and uh, falling over unconscious and she's got to f- solve the fucking mysteries. Those That's eyebrows. It. Yeah. <laughs> Moogie? <laughs> Moogie? Moogie, is that you? Moogie Scott. Anyway, <laughs> I froze his voice in the main character, which I love. I love I froze. I think she's an amazing voice actor yeah and yeah i, I mean it looks interesting to me this Alex, actually you... might be something i check out like i i'm i'm like john i'm all for like the mystery drama stuff alex can you open up the zero g uh thing i want to see what else oh the studio done. yeah, yeah. It's, it's being done by studio zero g oh oh keep going Oh, yeah. oh God! No. Oh, oh God! God. No! Oh God! God. No, this got bad really quick. <laughs> no, but they have done like other works that are actually. Hey yo! This guy! Oh, no, this guy! This is getting worse up. the further I go down. Huh? Okay then. This might actually be. Re- I mean, just the cast listing alone is hella promising. But uh, wow, John, John, etchy. Oh, of course there's etchy. The main character is super busty. What do you expect? Actually, no, this tag right here has got me intrigued. I love urban fantasy shit so yeah. much. Okay, this looks to this, be yeah, this is, I'm surprised this is so far down. This, I mean, maybe the manga is not super popular. I don't know. I have no idea. Either but way, this stacked is, cast. <laughs> with, that, with, the, with the stacked voice cast, I just want to check this out just to see how well all these people work together. Especially Ifuruz. I'm, I'm like, John, like, Ifuruz is an absolutely amazing talent. So now, now we're done. Now we're Yay. Done. Now we're done. Uh, so yeah, obviously there are uh, some other things that are coming out that we didn't talk about, but these are the things that we kind of were looking forward to for better or for worse. Um, I do want to ask you guys before I close this out, uh, one last question. Um, the winter season for 2024, um, how did it stack up? Did it meet your expectations? I enjoyed it. <laughs> I definitely enjoyed it. Lots of good I fan service that... this season. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, there were some good shows. Uh, there were a lot of bad shows, but it, it's mm. like that every season. Um, there were there were very few standouts. I think in the winter season. There was nothing that really like just shook me to my core and being like, "Oh my god, look at this hand." I mean, with the with the exception of the things that were finishing up from the fall season, like Free Ren and Apothecary Diaries. Yeah, like compared to Free Ren and Apothecary Diaries, like Solo Leveling, I've, I'm liking quite a lot. However, I'm liking Dungeon Meshi a lot too. Uh, I, I think that Solo Leveling is, I mean, this is just the prologue, bro. This isn't even where the story gets good. Like, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> like like any uh manhwa adaptation it's just just wait just wait <laughs> just trust bro trust, just trust yeah me. like my most look forward to shows every week is just stuff from the fall season so yeah <laughs> which is kind of unfortunate yeah um, you know so strong other than like probably metallic rouge i'd say is like i didn't expect it to be i didn't expect to enjoy no. metallic rouge as much as i did i same here quality. for for uh, an anime original it's really good uh if you're I not watching if, if you're not um, watching metallic rouge please go watch it like it's it's really good especially if you're a sci-fi fan i probably seven seven time loop villainous is probably another one where i, I didn't expect it to be good as good mm-hmm. as it has been Oh, a sign of affection too. Yeah, I'd say those three: Metallic okay. Rouge, Seven Time Loop, and Sign of Affection. Everything else kind of just like whatever. All right. Um, I definitely think the spring has a lot more to offer in terms of stuff that like I think a lot of people are looking forward to, especially stuff later this year as well um, in summer and uh, and fall. Um, yeah, that's our preview of uh, spring twenty twenty four. 
Um, let us know down below things that you might be looking forward to. Uh, let us know if you think we're wrong about what what to expect with the things we did talk about. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and end it there. Thank you, everyone, for stopping by to watch us. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe uh, if you like what you saw and want to see more and help us out. Um, also, check down below where you can find links to Anime Club After Dark on uh, Twitter, on Discord. On uh, We're on Blue Sky now. Uh, you can always be kept up with what we're doing if you join our Discord server as well down below. Um, what else? What else? Oh, our merch store. You can get things like this on our merch store now. <laughs> I don't know why it took me so long to hang these up, but I finally got them up. Um, more might be coming. I don't know. It depends on when uh, Vix is available to draw the rest of our characters like this. <laughs> but uh, eventually I want to get portraits of this done with all of our podcast characters. Excellent. It, it turned, they turned out amazing. Yeah. She does a great job. Um, I just got to wait for her to open up her commissions again. Uh, but with that, I have been your host, Alex, and I will see you next time. Say goodnight, guys! There are quite literally nine isekai next season. Jesus. That's lower than normal. Are we? Is, is it even an anime-like industry anymore, or is it just an isekai industry? No, guys. no, there's plenty of originals. I'm just yeah. saying, man. Like And other genres. Like, a fourth of the anime coming out next season are isekai. Like, <laughs> we might be having a problem here. <laughs> It's coming from me, the Isekai Trash Lord. Yeah. It's fine. You know, just keep you know, pumping it into my blood. I just need more. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs>